Once upon a time, there was a boy whose name was Makato. He was an orphan, for his father and mother died when he was very young. He had no brothers, sisters, cousins, or friends to take care of him, so he had to make a living for himself. He did every kind of work, carrying heavy things, clearing away the forest, or feeding pigs. He never idled, although he was paid only small wages, he was satisfied. He knew that if he would not work, he would starve. Wherever he went, his employees praised him for being sensible, hardworking, good-tempered, and cheerful. He sat down to rest and thought of all he would like to do in the future. He wanted to try his luck in far off strange lands for he longed for the exciting adventures. What are you thinking about so deeply, my boy? I'd like to go on a journey for adventure. I've heard that the land over there is fertile and the people are kind. I wish I could see that land for myself. The land you wish to go is called Sukkothai. They say Prar Wang of Sukkothai is a very kind-hearted king. You might be lucky if you could go there. Some time later, Makato decided to try his fortune. He left his village and set out in the wide world. He walked along cheerfully, enjoying new insights and talking to the people he met on the way. After a month's journey, he reached a village on the boundary of the kingdom of Sukhothai. Please, can I have some water to drink? I'm so thirsty. Where did you come from? Why are you here alone? You look as if you've come a long way. Thank you so much! Who are your father and mother? Haven't you any family? I have neither father nor mother. I came from the city of Mon over there. Good heavens! Have you really come from Mon? How is it that you are traveling alone? Just a young boy as you are. I wanted to see Prarwang of Sukatai. They say he is a very kind-hearted king. You are a determined boy. Come along with me. Who knows? You might see Prarwang someday. Makata was glad to go with her. If he could work with this kind of woman, he would have a place to sleep, some food to eat, and perhaps someday he might be lucky enough to meet the king. The old woman was one of Prarawang's mahouts, which meant that she helped the mahout find the food for the elephant and clean out the elephant sheds. He worked hard and well, and the mahout and his wife grew fond of him. One day, the sky was clear and the weather was so fine. It seemed to Makata that it must be a lucky day. As he worked in the elephant sheds, a tall young man in a splendid costume, followed by attendants, came in. It was Praruang himself. Makato bowed low at once at his hands clasped together before him. His heart beat fast. Where did that boy come from? He came all the way from the city of Mon. He heard so much about your majesty that he longed to see you. How old is he? Twelve years old, your majesty. A good-looking and hard-working boy. Take good care of him. As the king walked away, Makato saw a little carry shell lying on the ground. He ran to pick up and held it to the king, but the king said with a smile, You may keep it. How wonderful! The king has given me a cowrie shell. At that time, the people of Sukhothai used cowrie shells as money. Although one cowrie shell had a little value, Makato wanted to make as much use of it as possible, for it was the king's gift. For a long time, he could not think of a way to use it, so that it would earn money for him. One day, he passed by a stall in the market where the seeds of many different plants were sold. He looked along the stall and caught sight of a basket full of lettuce seed. Lettuces! 
he could grow small plants like that, he asked the joyful woman at the stall. Can I buy some lettuce seed? Yes, my boy. How much do you want? I have one curry shell. That won't buy anything. I can even measure that much. Look, I'll dip my finger into a pile of seeds. Then I'll take the seeds that stick to it. That must be about right for one cowrie shell. Well, why not? All right, boy, help yourself. Nakata paid the woman his one cowrie shell. Then he dipped his finger into the pile of seeds. When he pulled his wet finger out, it was covered with seeds. He carefully scraped them off his finger into the palm of his hand and went away. One day, the king passed by the elephant sheds again. Makato waited for an opportunity, then knelt down and proudly presented his biggest lettuces to the king. Where did you get this? Asked the puzzled king. Makato told the king the whole story. The king was impressed with his intelligence and industry so much so that later on, he gave Makato a job in the palace. As the years passed, Makato grew tall and handsome. He mastered every grace and served the king well. He was so loyal that the king trusted him absolutely. He was promoted to higher positions until he was given the title of Kunwang, which meant that he was the most important person in the king's court. He was also happily married to the beautiful young daughter of the king. After that, the king made him the ruler of the month. So, it was Dan Makato, who had once been a poor orphan, became the king of the prosperous kingdom.